In this episode, we're going to be building out a new airport. We are in my little test city on the island, the one that I'd built without mods. I ended up importing the mods in, and so now we are just going to dive right in. And so the first thing that I want to do, and this is going to be a little crazy, what I'm thinking is I want to do our terminal on an island where we actually don't have any above ground roads. I think it's going to be really cool. First thing I want to do is move these tunnels back. And so I'm just going to probably tuck them back about like right here. And there we go. So I lowered them down. You can kind of see this is uh, not the prettiest of tunnels. So what we're going to do is go in here, just con just shift click all the nodes that we want to lower and then just page down. Try to make it a little flush. I really want it to be flat right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and do it on the other side real quick. All right. And so both sides are nice and flush. And so now what I want to do is I want to lower this middle section because we are going to be using some underground metro and and we are going to need this to be just a little bit lower. Um, otherwise we end up running into some collision issues. And so we're gonna tuck this down like right about there. And then what we're gonna do is jump into the network multi-tool. We're gonna choose the slope tool. And then we are going to grab this guy, grab that guy, hit enter. And then we're gonna do the same for this guy. And I wanna make sure not to go all the way down to the middle. I want that middle section that I lowered to stay where it's at. And we may still need to lower that down more, but I think this is going to be good. All right, so we have tucked our tunnels down, lowered that road down. And now I, what I want to do is jump in here and we are going to use a couple of the different styles. So I think we're going to do this regular classic two-story terminal. And what we're going to do is try our best to put this in the middle. It doesn't necessarily need to be aligned with the road at, because the road is diagonal. It's really not a huge concern for us but I think I want to go like right. I mean, we may need to finagle this around. Let's go ahead and place it right here and see how it looks. So you know what? That's actually not bad. So it's diagonal to that. It's diagonal to that. So I think this is actually going to work out. And so what we're going to do now is jump into roads, go to rural roads. And so I really want this to be symmetrical and so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here we're going to go like that and then we're going to connect that up and then we're going to come down here go like that and then connect it up and then now what we can do is come out here let's see how how that looks three how wide is that you know what that actually looks pretty good maybe we'll do one more yeah we'll do one more just because I really want this island to be big so this is going to be our middle piece where we're going to put parking garages our hotels um, and then I have a couple really fun things in store. And so now what I want to do is jump in here, go to these modern large terminals. And it's kind of funny. I didn't realize that um, these bent ones actually have an attractiveness bonus. And so we are kind of struggling actually in Crater Lake to make a little more money because of our attractiveness. And we're really out of space. We This is definitely something that I've learned. If you're building on an airport, these bent pieces are a huge benefit to you. And so I think that's probably about good right there. We may need to play around with it. It looked like that was 90 though. There is a little bit of a snapping feature, but they do um, they do end up wrong quite often. And so now what I want to do is go down here. We'll probably go one across, go like that, and then we will just connect this guy up. And you know what, that, um, that looks pretty good. So I now want to go like this and go like this. And then we will come down here, go like that, go like that. And then we need to do our roads and we are a little off. So I think we will have to swoop it under. All right. So I went ahead and created the connections underground. I also created connections on this side as well. We ended up doing a couple little loop arounds and then I had to play around with the heights and everything, but I think it looks good. Um, this would be your exit, so it would fork under. And then this one ends up looping around just where these start to raise up. Um, it is kind of a little bit of a spaghetti mess, but these would be really well lit tunnels and I think it's going to end up working out for a purpose. And so, um, I think we are going to tuck this back just a little bit further though, because I want to be able to fit in probably two big runways on this side. Yeah, there we go. And so I ended up lowering these down just a little bit. And so the goal is to eventually sweep our concourse this way. And so, and then I'm thinking we'll put parking right here. Um, I think it's going to be a really good location for it. And then we'll put up some fencing and stuff. And I've got some really cool ideas for this. So now what I want to do while we're at it, let's go ahead and jump into our concourse and just draw this guy around. All right. And so what I'm thinking for this guy is we're going to come up here. And you know what? We'll actually start right here. 
Oh, you know what? It actually connects up right away. Oh, nice. And then for this guy, what I want to do is curve it around, but I want it to be symmetrically spaced from that other road. So then we will probably come out here. Let's go. We'll go two across. I think that's going to actually, that's going to work out really well. So then we will come in here, go to our free form tool, go like that. And then come down like right there. Ah, that's really tight. That really doesn't leave us a whole lot of room. But let's go ahead and do that again. So then right there. It actually looks really good. I think what we're going to do though is just shift it up a smidge. Not a whole lot. Just enough. Air yeah, tunnels are a little stretched. Um, I think we're going to uh, just bring these guys in just a smidge. I mean, they would probably work, but I don't think we... Um, really need them to be that long. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks good. It's kind of funny. I think we um, barely, just ever so slightly turned to this guy, but it's not a biggie. Um, I do want to bring this back. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks um, pretty good. It does look like this one, uh, you know, got lowered down a little too much though. So we're going to go like that and then just low raise that up. And so parking right here, probably even this guy as well. Um, parking normally is really, really large in airports. There's normally just a ton of it. And so now that we have that, what is this for? It's so interesting. Did we mess up our... Oh, wow. Look at that. We totally messed up. Okay, so let's go ahead and go like this. And perfect. You know what? That actually looks really good. And so I got a couple really exciting things in store for this. What I'm thinking is we will first get rid of this guy and then we will go ahead and get rid of this guy. And what I want to do is a nice little curve. So we're going to jump into our bus lane road and then we are going to go above ground and go to free form and go like this and then just curve it in. That's, we really want to get these curves. A lot of airports, um, have a lot of really smooth curves and turnarounds and so I'm going to really try to capture that and so what I want to do on this side is something similar but I want it to be on the inside and so I'm thinking like right there we'll go across and then we will grab this guy you know it looks like we got to go from the other direction it's not a biggie so we will grab this guy and go like that. Bam, bam. And go like that and then curve it across. Yeah, look at that. It's actually really nice. Um, it's kind of a softer curve than I was curved than I was anticipating, but um, I think in planning I had done it a little bit sharper. That's so interesting, but we're just going to copy these little pi pillars so that we can get it uh, to be a little more realistic. You know, you definitely am... If you didn't have pillars, it would probably be really unsafe. I would imagine that these would probably fall. Um, but I think that looks good. I think the little light curve actually gave it a little more character. And so now what I want to do is just uh, turn this around. Go like that. We can turn the bottom guy around too. Just so that people don't get confused. You know, you don't want to tell people to go the wrong direction. We can go ahead and connect these guys up too. I'm just going to bring them up here and then we will use the free form tool to connect this up actually looks like it's going to be too close. Maybe if we, so funny because we did it at that perfect angle. I think in my test build, I had these um, a little bit off, so it wasn't quite as perfect. And so now what I want to do with this road is curve it in. I really want to create a nice space with this. So I think if we go like that and then go like that, and then we're going to try our best to mirror that on this side. So I think like that, and then yeah, like that. You know, I think that's probably about as close to perfect as you can as you can get it. I think it looks good. And then I'm just going to jump into node controller and probably up these to 20 skid. We don't need it to be too wide, but we would also want people to be able to keep speed on this. Especially if they looked over and saw that there was no cars. I think, you know, that's still kind of sharp for those, um, those little pieces right there. But I think we'll keep keep it like that for right now. And so now what I'm thinking is I want to do something cool and fun and just uh, really enjoyable. 
in the middle. And so we're going to use some water features. We're going to do some parking garages. And then I think for this upper road, we'll end up curving right here and then do a turnaround similar to the one that I did before. Um, something that just looks really good. So we can actually do that real quick. So I think if we go like this and then we will have this guy go down around the curve. Hey, you know what? I think that is pretty close. And then I'm going to jump into the slope terrain or the slope tool in the network multi-tool. If I can select this guy, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Enter. That should give us a nice even slope. And then I'm going to jump into node controller and probably raise this up to 20. Yeah, there you go. I think that's, that's a fair, fair offset. I do want this to be, it's so funny. I, for some reason, whenever you do these, um, these above ground pieces right here, it always just gives a little smudgy right there. It's just super interesting. But it looks good, and we even got a little bit of a gap right there. I think maybe if we clean this up, we could probably tuck this in just a little bit. Because I think on this one, we got it a little bit cleaner. Yeah, you know what? I think that's it right there. So then we will turn this around. And yeah, that actually looks really good. I got it to be very similar. It's probably not perfect, but getting those angles is, is not easy. It looks good. You know, it, it's pretty close. I think this one is a little bit sharper of a bend right here. So I was trying to mirror something that was already a little bit smudged. And so now what we're going to do is do something a little crazy. So I want to do a couple little water features because I think they just look so great in, um, in these airports. And so we're going to go like this and we will lower our brush size. We're going to go like that and we don't need it to be on this side. And then I'm going to jump into water sources, lower this guy down. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. And then we will allow that to fill up. All right. And so now that we have that guy, what I want to do is decrease it a little bit. I want to create just a little um, like entryway for this. This would be where all the out of towners would be driving into the airport or people who had just arrived into the city would see. So you really would want it to be grand, something that just looked really cool. And so we are going to drop it down like right there. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks great. And then we will do some rocks and I have some pretty cool ideas for in here. And so we'll come down like this and then we will do the same thing. I kind of want to follow. So we were just on the inside of that. Yeah, there we go. And so now we can just adjust the heights and I'm going to go in here and just kind of clean it up and then I think we're going to do a couple more um, key walls on that side so that we can get the angles just right. I think for this one, though, we can just do a curved piece because it is already curved. It's going to end up looking really good for us to do that. Yeah, that actually looks really good because then we can actually tuck this guy in there. And so I do want to go back in here and just uh, smoothen this guy up. And then I do want to do another key wall on the back, but I want it to be straight. So we are going to go like this and then just grab this guy. It's funny, whenever you're working with key walls over ground, you, you really get that kind of shakiness from the landscaping. <laughs> it's pretty common. And so then now what we're going to do is just go in here and lightly clean it up. We may need to keep some of the ones on the outside. Like maybe we'll keep that guy because I really don't want to mess up them. Um, our look over here in the corner because what we're going to do is come in here paint this guy in and we're not going to keep it all painted we'll keep a lot of it painted but not all of it because what i want to do is go and we're going to jump into grass pieces and do a similar design just off the water that we recently did in crater lake yeah there you go i think that looks pretty good nothing too intense but um it looks good and that's really what we're trying to go for here you don't really have to outdo things in a crazy way to make them look good. All right, so now what I'm thinking is we're going to use those little white curbs that I really like. And this is kind of a fun design. I haven't done this one yet. I thought it was um, going to be really interesting to see. And so what we're going to do, and who knows, maybe it's going to look terrible. You guys are going to be like, Cityzilla, this is just a terrible design. There we go. And then we are going to come down here. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's not perfectly set up next to that, but I think it's probably about as good as we're going to get. And in here, what I'm thinking is we are going to go in here. 
remove this guy because I really don't want it to be in this space. We are going to have to figure out a way to kind of clean that up. I think maybe if we go like that, because then at least our sidewalk is good. Because we are going to come in here, choose our new, the new bush. And I really like this. And we will drop the spacing down to two. Yeah, I think that should be good. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Yeah, there you go. I think that actually looks pretty good. And so what I'm thinking for the middle of this guy, I want to come in here and I want to do some sand. You don't really see a lot of use with sand. And I recently watched an old creator, a Strict Coaster. And it was kind of funny how I, I just stamp, stumbled across his uh, episodes. I routinely try to look for old um, creators, ones that just stopped building for some reason. Um, maybe they got tired of it or they just, you know, life happens. Who knows? But he has some pretty cool... Um, episodes where he has used sand like this and I thought it was just such a novel idea because you don't really see it too much it's hard to work with sand though because you kind of get that little brushing I think if we come in with surface painter oh it actually does cover it so that that works out well and so what I'm thinking for this guy is we will come back in here and so we got bushes all the way around we still do have a little bit of this concrete guy right here though and so I think what we're going to do is jump in here and I want to try and cover these up. I, I was hoping that uh, there, you know what, that's perfect. And these actually fit in with the motif pretty well. Yeah, look at that. That's actually really cool. I like the look. And so now what we're going to do is jump in here and I think we're going to go to those, the generic date palms because I just, I think these look so good. There we go. It actually looks really good. I like that we did the little beachy sandy stuff. That looks really cool. And then we can um, do a little rock guy in the middle. I think that's going to look good. Maybe we'll, sw I think we're going to switch the palm trees to the other side because I want the people coming in to be able to see the little rock formation. Otherwise, I feel like it's kind of a waste. And so we're going to go like this and we're going to just switch them to the opposite ends. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks a lot better. Because then now we can come in here and go to these super tall palm trees. And what these do is just kind of, you know, give a little bit of contrast to this area. Yeah, I think that looks great. And then we can even come in here and just do a couple more of those little tall grasses. Yeah, I think this is fantastic. It's like a little beachy area. Man, that looks great. I really like that. I like that we did the grass around the outside too. I think it looks clean. Like you would see the rocks coming in. There'd probably be a sign there like welcome to the airport. And so I'm just going to copy that on this side real quick. All right. So I ended up copying that same kind of sand look on this side with the rocks. And then I ended up put it, putting in a couple little lights as well. And then I put the big palm trees in our little planters with some really fun lights. I put some lights in the water as well. And then I decided to do these big palm trees kind of swooping through here. Um, just because a lot of times, especially in little tropical areas or like the western United States, there's just an overuse of palm trees. And so it definitely makes the area look really cool. I really like it. And so now what I want to do is move on to our next little section. And so what I'm thinking is I really want to add in a transit hub. And so I think what we're going to do, we'll probably get rid of those guys now. And we will come in here and just get rid of this little corner for uh, that surface painter. And then... I want to jump in here and I think we're going to go a little extreme on this one. This may be taking it a step too far, but I think it looks really cool. And so I'm pretty pumped up about it. Um, I do want to place this underground, the Metro Plaza station, um, just because we can assume that maybe the city is going to expand all the way around this island. And so having this as like a mini transit hub would just be fantastic for the city. And so what I think we're going to do is probably come up here I don't want it to be in that same junction as that. And we will, you know what? Let's go ahead and create the road first. So I want guidelines back on and I want it to be parallel with, with that top road. So maybe we'll go like right there. Is that even one, two, yeah, three's good. It does look like maybe this side's just a little bit more. Maybe we'll line it up with that first. Yeah, there we go. And then now what we can do is just uh, have this curve in. And I want it to be before that intersection. I don't want it to be at the same space so that ideally people merging from this lane would stay on the left and then people merging from that lane would be on the right and you wouldn't really have to worry about it as much. And then I think in there, in the little middle section, we will do just a little bit of concrete. 
just to clean it up. I mean, it's mostly pillars. We're really not having anything crazy in there. But then we are going to turn around our road. There we go. And so now it, it literally is just a road to provide a little access to our terminal here. And so now what I want, you know, it's so funny. That's actually uh, perfect. So we'll go like that. And I think we could even attach these roads up, but let's draw these back because what I want to do is do a little bit more water before we do anything like that. What I'm thinking is we will do our parking garages on these roads. So let's go in here and we're going to use those same really big parking garages just because at airports you really need a ton of parking. And so these would be entirely necessary. And so I think we want two of them. So maybe we'll place that guy there and then let's see. All right, so we have our basic parking garage structure idea. And I do want to change our road over here before we kind of forget, because this is so important. We do not want a dirt road in our airport. I feel like that would be a really big oversight. And so um, what would be nice is if we could figure out a way to get our roads down here. Maybe if we actually tuck these into each other just a little bit. And then I got those little lines mixed up. Uh, that looks pretty good. And so I think we will go ahead and copy that on this side as well. Bring it all the way into that guy right there. And the reason we're doing this is just so that we can um, create a little more space. But then um, I think that looks good. We actually probably don't even need to lower it down now. Now, you know what? We'll um, shift it down just because I don't want that to be there. So it does kind of mess up our ground a little bit, but not enough for me to really be worried about it right now. Because what we're going to do is jump in here go down here we'll probably go probably move these back just a little bit yeah there we go and then let's jump into our landscaping tools go to shift terrain and then do the same thing just go down we don't need it to be super deep we just need it to be deep enough and we're going to come back in and make this smaller again and so what I'm thinking is we will do two shoot branch offs and want to, I want to create a little park area, especially since the transit terminal is here, it would just be really nice to put in some paths. And then I was thinking about doing like a little walkway, almost like a botanical garden, but probably not exactly like a botanical garden. Um, and then we're going to make some smaller waterways. These are just really fun ways. It's kind of funny. I got this idea from, um, airports in China. They, <laughs> There's a few that have um, custom little like ponds and waterways and stuff. And I thought it just looked so good. And that's why I kept um, wanting to make these. And so we are going to tuck this guy in and we're going to tuck that guy in. And then let's see if we can drop our water source in here. We might need to um, bring that back up a little bit. I think this may be just a little too big. And the reason I didn't go too deep is because we have this uh, metro line here. We need our metro lines to be able to go out. And so this one we did a little bit deeper, but... These ones we would definitely not want as deep. And so we're just going to let it flood. All right. And so now that it has flooded successfully and we have water, what I want to do is choose a location for our keys to where we are probably about, I think that's too much. So I want about two squares of difference in there. So let's go like that. You know what? That actually looks pretty good. I think that is good. I think that is going to work. And so now we um, want to come down here, but we want it to be straight first off. So it looks like we have about three units of space on that side. Yeah, you know what? That, uh, those actually came out really well. I'm kind of surprised. And then um, I think we can actually bring these ones in just a little bit more. Yeah, I think we can um, create them just a little bit bigger, not much. All right, so I went ahead and fit these in and I decided to make them curved. Initially, I was going to do them rounded, but I think by curved, it adds just a little bit of interest. Um, I made this one squared off. I think it looks really good. And one of the things to kind of keep in mind with this, these would be more like fountains. These wouldn't actually be as deep of waterways as they are. They would be um, just areas where we'd probably put in like some um, actual little water jets or something. Um, there's just really no way to do fountains in this game. And so... They wouldn't actually be super deep like this, like lakes. They would um, just be really large fountains. But I think it looks really good. Um, now what I want to do is go in here and I want to connect up this road because I really think that access is going to be super important for us. 
And so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna choose a nice little three lane road and I'm just gonna connect this guy up right here. And then we will probably, we'll have to create a little bridge, but I think it's gonna look good. And we're going to, we're definitely going all out on this one. All right, so there you go, there's a little bridge. And then now what I'm thinking is we're gonna do a little plaza right here with some trees and then I'll do like a nice little seating area. And then I wanna do some walking paths over here with like some gardens. Um, cause this would just be a really nice area. And then for this middle section, I think we're going to do, um, just some planters with the concrete and then we'll end up doing some, some of the more of the sand guys over here. And so I'm just going to basically copy this guy for over here, but then I'm going to do another one of these plazas right next to the water, just cause I think it's going to be really nice. And then, um, we'll do a big plaza right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done and then we'll talk about it when I am finished. Okay, so this is it. I kind of went a little crazy with it, but I think it looks really good. I wanted to go for like a garden kind of vibe. I put in these little restaurants with some tables and this palm tree with the planter. And then I decided to do some flowers over here. And then I used the zoo path in here just because I think it's really nice. It's almost like a wood look. Um, but then I did this whole like walking garden area with some more of the sand areas with the rocks. And this would just be a really nice area. Like say you're taking the metro in, you you have a flight, but you're early. Um, you would just kind of peruse around here. But also because this is kind of a transit hub, you could literally just come here. Say you wanted to come relax. This would be almost like a botanical garden probably. Um, and then you could just walk around, you know, enjoy the water. And then place these guys over here. I decided to leave the pier empty mainly because these wouldn't fit over there without getting them um, into some weird terraforming issues. But then it also provides just an area for people to walk out and kind of look at the water. And it just looks really cool. You know, I, I followed it up here as well. And then I put in some paths. I did a couple of the little sand guys. And then I think what we're going to do with these little corners is put in some of our services. So we know that we want at least a fire department and a police department. And so I think it would be really good for us to just squeeze these in here. So I think we're just going to grab a little two lane road. We're going to go like this and then we'll probably copy it on this side as well. Where are we? Yeah, right here. And then that way we can have our services on site, which is super important. And we're probably going to do um, some helicopter depots as well. I don't think we're going to use that. one. We'll use this guy. You know, we could even put a little medical clinic right here too. I think that would probably be good. So we'll move this over and then let's put in a little clinic, even though the the actual airport would probably have some sort of medical clinic or something. I think it would be nice to have that. And so what I want to do for this area is just put in some more rocks. Um, we're going to just do a small little uh, nice area to block the backside of those service buildings. This would be one of the first areas that you saw. Um, though I think right there too, are there taxi depots in here? I think there are, I think there's built in taxi depots into these. Yeah. Or not taxi depots. Um, the taxi stands. So maybe we won't do that. We'll go like this, go like that, go like that. And then we'll do another three over here. And then we'll probably place down some small rocks too, just because those small rocks really go a long ways to um, make it feel a little more real. Though you do have to kind of turn them. And this would just be a nice little area, um, nice walking area. And I think we could do a path in here too. Maybe we'll do a path up here just to clean up this, um, this little guy right here. So I think if we jump in here, we'll turn off snapping and then we will go like this. Yeah, it's not bad. We'll come in and do, um, surface painter on that one side, just so that we can clean up that edge just a little bit. There we go. And I think we can come in here. It really depends on the angle for this. Surface Painter is a kind of a finicky tool. You know, it's funny, this side did much better. There we go. And then I think I'm just going to grab some of the small little bushes, the new bushes, the wild hedge. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of cleans it up, makes it look a little, uh, where am I? Makes it look a little better. It's kind of funny just, you know, tracing these lines really goes a long ways with these bushes. You can really do, you can do some really awesome stuff just with the bushes. I think we'll um, do some small foliage in here too. We don't need to do a lot, but we'll, um, we'll just do some. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks good. It cleans up the area. Now we got our basic services. 
All right. And so now what I want to do is put in our little luxury hotels. I had a really cool idea for this um, that I think is going to be super fun. So we're going to grab this guy. And what I want to do is come in here and we're going to delete a small section of road. I want it to be pretty far north. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it right there. Because then what I'm thinking is we'll go like that and then we'll go like this. And then what we're going to do is jump in to move it and we're going to shift this back and we're going to turn that little back section into like a patio. And you know, it's funny, I actually got this idea from um, Denver airport and I could be wrong, but I want to say I've only been to Denver airport once, but when I was there, I remember there being a really big Marriott that was actually like a part of the hotel. It's kind of interesting. I had never seen that before. And so um, you could literally walk into the airport from the concourse. And so I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, especially to incorporate it that in there and it just looks really clean and then you can just jump into the new fence if I can get to the right menu and there we go I decided to do these little fences just to create a little outdoor space so that people could go outside it's not super common for them to be on tarmac level but um, I think it would still provide a nice little area for people who are maybe staying at the airport I think I'm going to remove these trees real quick all right, and so now we got our little basic hotels, um, our luxury hotels. I think they look really good too, and I like that we did the little outdoor space. And so let's jump into our parking lots. And for our parking lots, I want to put in our bus depot so that we can do a little shuttle. And then I want to put in probably our budget hotels down here, um, just because they would still be really needed for the hotel. Not everybody can afford the premium prices of a luxury hotel. So we are, I'm just going to do the big parking lots, draw out a guy right here, probably put the bus depot right there so that it can directly connect to the parking lot. And then we'll probably do um, the one budget hotel on either side just to make it a little bit easier. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, I got a little crazy with the parking lots. I wanted to squeeze in this bus terminal right here. This little road looks a little weird, but I think this was going to be our best bet. But I do like that it goes through the parking lot because this would be used as like a shuttle service for these little budget hotels, which I put little fences around them. And it's so funny, I didn't really put any trees around them. We could do just a couple small ones. I think we'll do some of these little standardy guys. These are always good trees. We don't want to do a lot because this is going to be pretty close to the actual tarmac. And so... We would just want to create a nice outdoor space for people who are staying at the hotel or whatever. Um, but then we're going to do the shuttle service picking up from the air, from the parking lots and then dropping off at the gates. And so I think this came together really well. I ended up putting in this huge rock formation because this is where you would have like your welcome sign right here. Or it would be the name of the airport like welcome to blah 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 international airport and then on this side it would say you know thank you for visiting or thank you or welcome to the city something like that and so you definitely see those grand entrances quite a bit and so um i think because this is taking so much time what we're going to do is actually break this up into two episodes and so this right here i believe is done if you guys have any comments though on the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to do the cargo hub probably up here but then i want to do a ton of hangers we're really going for a super mega airport here i'm going to go with probably like 30 or 40 hangers and then I want to go for a really large cargo terminal. Um, we are literally going for like a like a Chicago O'Hare or just, I mean, think of the largest airport out there. Um, and we are going to be placing down our gates and then we need to hook up our mass transit. But let me know what you guys think of this. If you're interested in another airport build, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. Thank you so much for watching.